Hey, Mark from Whole Latte Love. I'm here with Todd. Todd's got the camera today. Hello, guys. And we're going to take a look at the uh, Gaja Anima. Now, there's three models to the Anima. We have the top of the line, the Prestige here. There's also just a base Anima and then the Anima Deluxe. Now, both the Deluxe and the Prestige will have some stainless steel on the front and up top here. Uh, the other big difference with the uh, Prestige here, top line, you get the Milk Craft. And over on the side here, you'll see one touch buttons for a cappuccino and a latte macchiato. So I'm going to get one going right away. The other thing I like about this machine is the size. It's only 8.7 inches wide, one of the smallest in width Super Automatic so you can find. Also the height, this is going to fit under 18 inch cabinetry even when you open these up. These open up to about 17 inches so you still got some space under there. But let's get a milk based drink going. All I do is pop in my carafe. And oh, another thing I like is you can fit the taller glasses. We've got just a six inch glass here and that's about the amount of space you got right here, six inches. So I'm just going to press that latte macchiato button and it's telling me to make sure I put my craft in and put the thing over. Now the craft is really nice because you can just take this out of the fridge, pop it on and make your drink, put it back in the fridge and you're ready to go. Um, what else do I want to talk about? So we also have over on the other side we have a button for espresso and espresso longo which is just you know, a longer cup of coffee. Um, longer being more volume. Mm -hmm. You see the machine's heating up right now and now it's putting the milk out into our glass. And again I programmed this all. We'll show you how that works with one of the other buttons in a moment. But all you do is just press and hold. You get the amount you want. You hit a check and it'll stop dispensing the milk and it'll do the espresso. When you get the amount you want you hit the check mark again. You see right here and it'll store that volume until you change it again. So you can see this is going to stop automatically. And there's you can kind of get an idea of the quality of the, of the froth here. We'll do a little close up. Ooh. So now it's done with the milk. Now it's going to put our espresso in. Now you have five different strengths you can choose from in the espresso. Another thing I really like about this machine, you, the dosing using these here ranges from 6.5 to 11.5 grams. And for a single shot, that's, that's a pretty good dose. Yeah. We need a nice uh, slow flow for the shot too, that's nice. Yeah. That's nice and rich. And the machine has some electronics inside, it, it uh, measures the number of spins and then the pressure that it's brewing at, it has an adaptive brewing system. Yeah, it spins of the grinder. Spins of the grinder, yeah. right. And look at that, so you're getting that nice, that nice layering here on the latte macchiato. For the close up. Yeah, there it is, isn't that beautiful? Ooh. So, nice touch of a cool. button, we'll pull this off here so we can get a look. Oh, now take a look at this. I want you to see this. Watch the screen here. It's going to ask me, do I want to run a little cleaning cycle now? And this is great because when you're working with milk, you want to keep it clean. So it's asking me if I clean, so I'll just check that. Now you wouldn't have to if you're going to make another one. It'll just reset. And that's going to heat up for a second and then do our cleaning cycle. It's asking me to make sure I got everything in there. Oh, i got to hit the check again. Now it's going to get some nice hot water running through there to keep everything clean. So if I was done for the day, pop this back, pop it off, put it back in the fridge, and I'm ready to go for next time. Yeah. Now you can also get hot water out of here. You just put the other spout in, and you get hot water for tea and, and those kinds of things. Now let's take a look up top at the water reservoir over on the left. This is a 60-ounce reservoir. It can take a water filter, and we do recommend using a water filter. Um, we don't have one in right now, but it will increase the time between machine to scalings. Then over on the other side, uh, here's where your beans go. And it comes with a little tool here. You can see the little yellow knob back here. This is, you have an adjustable flat ceramic burr grinder, um, which is, you know, the kind of grinder you want. But you got five grind settings on that, and that just push down and adjust that. And we like to go right to fine for the espresso. Yeah, don't set we? this on the fine because it gives us less espresso. Um, then up top we also have a bypass doser. So if you want to, if you have some pre-ground coffee, this is you'd use a scoop here, scoop it in, um, and then it's great for like making a decaf from pre-ground later in the day. Um, and you need to access that over here. You can see the aroma strength button here. So right now it's showing the five beans. If I press again, you can see a little scoop here that indicates we want to use a bypass doser, and then we can go back up through those five strength settings. Yeah. Another thing also on this milk container. If yeah. you ever want to fill it without actually having to take the top off, this cap comes oh, off. Oh, that's, yep. So this kind of makes it easier to fill. So you can leave it right on the machine? Yep. So when you're entertaining and yep. you're doing like 10. Or just, you know, you take out the refrigerator, just pour some more in. Um, so, let's, I was going to show you the programming over here. So we'll show you, again, it works the same for all the four different drink buttons. You've got the coffee ones on this side, milk over here. 
So we'll just program an espresso, and all you do is just press and hold. And then you can see in the display here, it says memo. That means we're in the programming mode. So all you, you just let it dispense until you've got what you want in your cup, and then we'll hit this button over here, a little check mark that'll come up on the screen here in a second. And then the machine will stop, and it'll store that amount. And we'll also get a look at just the quality of the espresso that comes out of here. Do a little pre-infusion now. Yeah, so it's wetting the coffee puck before it's actually brewing. And that's a pretty nice, starting out like a pretty nice looking shot there. Say when, Todd, and I'll stop it. About there, you think? Yeah, stop her, yep. So I just hit the check button. Now that amount will be programmed. Now if you want, at any time, you can get two coffees out of this. So you've got the espresso over here, and then a lungo, which would be a longer cup of coffee. But you can get two of any drink. You have the two spouts here. You just hit one of these buttons twice, and it'll do a separate grind cycle for the second one, but fill up both cups at yeah, the same so time. We'll grind, tamp, and brew, grind, tamp, and brew, both full strength. So let's take a look here. Now, Todd, I know that you kind of like the design here of the uh, metal, metal tray here. It's got the little raised edge. Yeah, so you won't have coffee floating over the edge if you overflow something. That's actually very unique on that. That's nice. Um, so then, and then you also liked how the drip tray has some positive feedback here. So you push these buttons in to pull it off. And then we'll take a look inside. So here's the drip tray. It's, a, it's all one drip tray. And you also really like those baffles. So as you carry this around to empty it, it's not going to slosh around and make a mess, right? Yeah, easy not to spill, even when you're a little klutzy. And then there, there's our, our used puck drawer. So your coffee puck's go into there. Mm -hmm. And then let's open up the machine. We'll take a look at the heart of this thing, which is the brew group, which is down in here. We'll pull this out. Maintenance on this is, is pretty easy. The regular stuff is just to take this to the sink once a week and just rinse it with some cool tap water, dry it off, and pop it back in the machine. And that's where everything happens. So let's take, we'll go through the menus real quick here and show you what we've got. So you just get it into the menu button here. So here, now you select from either the menu or the drinks. And let's go down to, to the uh, drinks here. So we'll hit that check mark there. So this is where you tell the machine if you want some hot water out of the spout here. Or you can get some milk froth out. So if you needed just some hot milk froth for some cereal or something, wanted that, or a hot chocolate, you can do that. But let's go back, and we'll go into the menu here. So we can adjust the coffee temperature here. Always set it to the highest. Always set it to the highest. <laughs> Um, going through the menu, we can have the machine go into standby, which will reduce its power consumption quite a bit. And you can range that anywhere from 15 minutes to 3 hours. You can change the contrast of the display here. Um, also, you'll get with the machine, you'll get a water hardness test strip. It looks like this. So you test your water and then you'd enter the information that you get from that strip into your machine here. And you'd also tell it whether you're using that water filter. And then between using the, uh, the hardness and the water filter and the number of coffees you brew, it'll tell you when to descale the machine. And you'd start that descaling cycle from right here. And you can reset it completely to the factory defaults. So we'll dump out of that. Oh, I just reset it. <laughs> and we'll go back here. So again, this is the uh, Anima Prestige. We, what we really like here, again, the craft, you pull right out, pop it on, and you've got one touch button, so you just slide your cup under there and you get a cappuccino or a latte macchiato. We've also got the room under the spouts, both for the milk and the espresso, so you can fit those taller glasses, which is really nice. The width of the machine and also no problem fitting under overhanging cabinetry at 18 inches. So. Again, that is the Gaja Anima Prestige, top of the line Anima. Uh, I'm Mark from Whole Latte Love. We've got Todd back there. And thanks, guys, for watching. Hey, why not subscribe now for easy, free access to more videos on everything coffee brought to you by WholeLatteLove.com.